with sleep and sexual health, the more you try to solve the problem, oftentimes the less well things go. So with both of these aspects of our health, it is optimized by our ability to let go, to let go and let our body take over. Sleep and sex are very primal systems. Um, the body knows what it needs to do and what it has to do, right? We need to sleep and we need sex uh, to survive. Well, we sex as a species, we need to, to survive. Um, and so it's when our head gets in the way of either one of those that things tend to go sideways. So how sleep problems and sexual problems interact sometimes they don't always lots of people have sleep problems and no problems with their sexual health and a lot of people have sexual health problems and zero problems with sleep so they don't always interact but one of the ways they do is if you're getting insufficient sleep um, oftentimes you notice a drop in libido stress isn't the number one libido killer so 85 percent of people when stressed report like low or no desire um, and sleep problems can also just affect generally your health and how your body's functioning um, in addition, if you're not sleeping well, the bed gets paired with anxiety around the sleep. And for most people, that's where most of their erotic activity comes, you know, happens is, is when they're, when they're in bed. 